Hi guys, this is Rocket Days and welcome back to my channel and welcome to this new series on Bulma CSS Framework and in this series I'll be talking about the CSS Framework, how it is useful and I'll show you directly how you can start off using it within no time. So anyways, uh, before that I would also like to mention that Bulma CSS Framework is still under development so uh, make sure that you constantly watch their page and I'll drop the link below and also I'll be dropping uh, down the CDN link with which you can start off uh, working on Bulma.js and uh, I'm here working on uh, Sublime Text you can open up Atom or Sublime Text or you can even experiment on JS Fiddle like I was doing in the last few other playlists so let's get started so on this uh, uh, immediately first of all what I do is over here I uh, drag the CDN link so CDN is nothing but uh, content delivery network so you can get your links over there so we have, we have a link to the uh, Bulma min, minimi, uh, minified CSS so after that you can start off working on it so in this first episode I'll be talking about buttons the classes how you add them what is the syntax of adding and this is a very quick and short tutorial so stay tuned and also uh, make sure that you understand each and every topic Alright guys, so let's get started. So over here, as you can see on the screen, you have nothing but uh, two ti one title and a subtitle and I'll be talking about the subtitles and titles in the later videos. Uh, this video will be, uh, will be covering the buttons. So to add buttons, all you do is you say a uh, href and then you give it uh, any name over here. Let's say button1 and then you give a class called button. So let's see what happens. Alright, so as you can see, we have a button 1 over here uh, on our uh, screen. So you can see that it has been uh, pushed to the left. So that is by default uh, when you use Bulma CSS framework. So what you can do over here is that you can give it nice coloring over here. So as you can see, we ha I have written down in the comments that you can have 5 primary, 5 main colors. Uh, so you can change those colors if you use SAS or you can even have your custom CSS files changing it. But uh, in general, these colors are pretty uh, the norm, the standard ones. So that is why uh, they have included these colors. So I'll I'll quickly show you uh, what happens and uh, how you can change them. So, but first, let me just uh, copy and paste this down. So over here, I'll say info button. Info button is nothing but uh, but a button that will give you information. So that is generally blue in color. So a success button is generally green in color. So these are the pretty standard norms that are used uh, everywhere. So you can have uh, also a warning button which is yellow in color and a danger button which is red in color. All you do right now is just say ease hyphen and then say primary. So let's see what happens. Alright so as you can see we have uh, 5 buttons over here. The first one is colored and the rest of them are just uh, black and white. So they are uncolored. So you can even uh, give BR a uh, line break if you want the buttons to go down. So over here uh, what you do is that you say it is, is info. So as you can see you have info button which is blue in color. And similarly you can say button space is hyphen success. So now you save it and reload it. So you get button success. And warning is sim sim similarly you have is warning and is danger. Alright guys, so as you can see we have uh, 5 different colors, primary button has grayish color, green uh, and the green one is for success, red is for danger, yellow is for warning and button info, info buttons have blue color. So this, uh, this is a quick way where you can uh, toggle the buttons and their colors and also uh, let's let's get going so I'll, I'll give them uh, a quick uh, line breaks over here. Alright, so you can give them uh, two two more uh, line breaks so that uh, there is spacing. Okay, so anyways, uh, let's get uh, going ahead. So after this, you have four sizes. So la uh, right now, you can leave the buttons be just the way they are, or else you can uh, increase or decrease their sizes. What you can do is that you can directly say button is primary, and you can add another class which is like is small so let's see what happens so as you can see we have a smaller button over here and similarly you can uh, even uh, say is large 
let's let's go with ease medium first and then let's check out what happens all right so it is a it, it's slightly bigger than the first regular button and the fourth style which is large button you just give ease large as you can see you have these uh, four different sizes of buttons so these are pretty useful uh, ways to you know toggle the sizes and colors of buttons you can go ahead and work on them and that is the reason why I tell you to open up uh, any kind of editor and do it along with me so that it is fun alright so and after this uh, we have we also have three states so what you can say is that uh, let's copy this down over here so is info I will also say that is outline so let's see what happens so as you can see we have an outlined uh, button which on hovering gives you the uh, full color and uh, similarly we have something called ease loading so let's see let's see what happens right so as you can see it is blue in color but there is a loading uh, uh, there is a loading gif that is going around so this is something which comes with the ease loading uh, one and similarly you have uh, something called disabled so you can just go ahead and uh, give it is disabled so let's see what happens all right so as you can see there is no uh, uh, way to click this button so that is how you can put up disabled buttons and these are various ways where how you can work with buttons on Bulma CSS framework so I guess uh, that's it for this tutorial guys as I told you this is a very quick and short one and uh, make sure to, that you subscribe to my channel and also watch the remaining uh, videos I'll come up with uh, more amazing ones and stay tuned to the series and uh, learn this uh, fully and use them in your projects within no time Alright guys, thanks a lot for watching. This is Rocky Day signing off and I'll be seeing you in the next video. Bye bye.